Welcome back, everybody. The recent rain that left behind puddles of standing water at the Madrona Marsh triggered local authorities to take preventative actions and keep a close eye on any signs of the West Nile virus. Reporter Seth Browning tells us more. The combination of weather and water can make possible habitats for mosquitoes, some that might carry the West Nile virus. Well, if the rains continue throughout March and April and is followed by a warming trend, there may be an increase in mosquitoes, which may, of course, um, increase the risk for West Nile virus. West Nile started exactly there. The virus transmitted to humans by a mosquito bite recently made its way from Africa to California and around the world. The on-again, off-again virus has slowed recently, but is still taken seriously at the Madrona Preserve. We want to continue to test to continue to keep our visitors safe so that there are no live mosquitoes that can bite them. Now, still waters like these are potential breeding grounds for mosquitoes. A natural way to fight mosquitoes instead of pesticides is a fish called the gambusia fish. Now, if you can get a close-up of these fish in my hand, they're released into the waters to actually eat mosquito larvae, preventing them from becoming adults. These tiny fish are just one of the methods used by LA County West Vector, the agency that routinely comes out to battle the virus. Other tactics include testing chickens who can get infected and still live with the virus, sampling water and trapping mosquitoes. And the mosquitoes will uh, travel to the trap and they will be sucked in through the span into this collection net. The Madrona Preserve, with its still waters, is not only a place of beauty, but a location to research West Nile. Biologists like Heather Teodoro test, study, and work towards an eventual vaccination. If California follows this trend, there may be an increase in the number of cases this year, followed by a decline next year. And while research develops, LA West Vector recommends taking simple precautions. While outdoors, wear an insect repellent. Also report seeing any dead birds which may have been infected by the virus. At home, secure screens on windows and empty out any standing water. With more awareness and continuing research, we might see an end of the Nile. For This Week in Torrance, I'm Seth Browning. Thanks, Seth. If you or someone you know discovers a dead bird, contact a West Nile virus hotline at this toll-free number. That's 1-877-WNV-BIRD. The state relies on continual surveillance of dead birds to determine the presence of West Nile virus.